A common problem that people face when working on a client is the idea that they have too many windows open. People tend to have a lot of different things going on in their day-to-day -day work, but when there's multiple windows opening that represent the various tasks that they're doing, finding which one you're working on and being able to switch between them is difficult. On a Windows environment, usually you're used to an Alt-Tab experience to get between different systems. And this has commonly been in the Linux desktop for years as well. One of the accommodations now in the Linux desktop from Novell, though, is the ability to much more easily locate which window you want to go through. As I Alt-Tab from window to window, you'll notice a preview that shows me what the actual contents of the window is, and you'll notice that each window, as I scroll through them, is becoming transparent as it's no longer the focus, and the current focus becomes opaque. This makes it easy for me to quickly switch between different windows. However, Alt-Tab in a case like this, where there are multiple windows that I have to scroll between, doesn't work as well as if I could see all windows in front of me at once. And that makes a very easy experience for me as an end user to choose which window I want to use, click on it, and go right to that particular window. When a window contains contents that are too small to read or see easily, the Linux desktop has a zoom capability that allows us to see the desktop much more easily and the various contents of that desktop. This is a key feature for users with accessibility needs. We can use the zoom feature also to expose some of the subtleties about the desktop that make it a little bit better visual experience for any user. By zooming in on this window right here on the border, we can actually see the light shadow that goes around the edge of the window. And if we scroll up slightly, you can see in the title bar of a window, there's a minor transparency effect that's happening that lets you see what's in the next window behind it. These kind of features right here make the desktop a little bit more compelling for each user to use. Many of the visual features within the desktop can also be customized and tuned to the user's needs and preferences. An example of this is the fade effect, which you'll see as we pop open the computer menu. We left off with a big problem for me, though. I have multiple windows open, and that's because of the way I work. I have multiple windows for things like email and instant messaging, my communications domain. I have longer-term projects that I use in the Office package. I also have different things like references that I make to websites. And these various areas right here, they're really different functions for me, but I get them all crammed into a single desktop space. In order to solve that problem, I can have multiple desktops in a Linux system. So if I want to switch between desktops, I can simply switch to them with a simple keystroke. So let's move some of these windows to different spaces that will help me out in keeping organized and keeping track of which tasks I'm doing where. This is a browser right here, so I'm going to move it to my desktop on the left and switch back to the main desktop that I was working from. Now my communication client here, I want to put onto a communication desktop. And I can switch right back again. Another web browser, let's put it back with the other web browser. Switch back again, yet another browser. Let's move that one back over. So what you see from that is that I have this three-dimensional virtual space that helps me keep track of different desktops and arrange my environment the way I need to. Now I can switch from one task area to another one and keep track of the various things that I'm doing throughout the day. I may hear an instant message come in and I can switch right over to that desktop from my main project I'm working on. Or I can choose to ignore it. And when using multiple desktops, when you alt-tab between different applications, of course it flips you to the right application and the right desktop. All of these different features we've just shown, these visual accommodations for the end user, make it so that the user can organize their visual space and work on more things more productively.